I sort of at a loss for words, but not really. I have a lot of word, a lot of thoughts going in my mind. And for you feds out there, including you feds probably watching this, you'll never know because they're in my mind and I'm not going to post them anywhere because then you know what I think. So if you don't know what I think, you can allude, but you can't point one out. I guess my thoughts from last night's, one of them, I've been alive on this earth for 47 years. There has never been a speech like that, ever. Never witnessed it. All the speeches I've seen, even with Obama, even as divisive as he was, he never went that far. This potato essentially crossed the Rubicon, so to speak. He, 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 he did it. Basically, he defined the enemy, which is all of us who do not agree with him and who don't want him occupying the White House. That's what he did. He defined the enemy and then called all of us terrible people, MAGA Republicans, whatever the hell that means. And we know what he, he defined it last night. We know what he means. Enemies of the state. He called us, called you, your family, people that may not even be remotely politically active but don't like the president, don't want him there, the enemies of the state. And then he goes, well, not all of them. He says, all the ones that agree with me, the rhinos, the, the hapless Mitt Romneys out there, I can work with them. But you, the rest of you, I can't. So, first thing first, he defined the enemy, which is all of us. Now, there's a big leap between defining the enemy and then jailing your opposition. Well, I hate to break it to you folks. He's already started jailing the opposition. He basically, last night, defined us as the enemy and gave marching orders to the feds, the FBI, et al., and local law enforcement that anybody who has an R next to their name or politically speaking is conservative as the enemy of the people. He did. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Y you, you really can't. He defined us as the enemy. Now, the leap has already been made to start investigating people on the right side of the political spectrum or even right side of Pol Pot, Lenin, and Stalin. He's done that. He's defined the enemy. The marching orders have gone out to the feds, to the law enforcement. And those mar same marching orders went out to Antifa and the BLM protesters. They have their marching orders. We are the enemy, according to... Il potato, il potato. We're the enemy now. And again, I go back to what I stated in my earlier videos. Don't get violent. They want you to do that because once you do that, then he can start instituting hmm, executive orders to put you away, like they did, or Franklin Delano Roosevelt did in 1942, to Japanese Americans. Their crime being of Japanese descent. Put them in re-education camps, essentially. Internment camps, whatever you want to call it, Whatever flowery words the Democrats like to use. That's what happened. And he did it without any really opposition. Because everyone was scared. If you're a Democrat, you were probably scared last night. Oh no, there's a Republican on every gun in every bed. So you're going to want the potato to do something if someone were to do something, if you get my drift. Because there's someone out there that's mentally unhinged, who's on the verge, who's been gaslit by the president and gaslit by federal agents who've done this in the past. It's been proven to push somebody over the edge to do something. And then once that happens, then he can start jailing his opposition, which concludes all of you. He called us out by name. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Borbett, Bobert, uh, Donald Trump, any Trump for that matter. All of us were under one banner. When he called for unity, in the same sentence he goes, 
you're the enemy. But for unity, to, for unity to flourish, everyone needs to agree with him. And that's just not going to happen. Now, before I end this video, I think I, I've already gone too long. I pulled this off, I can't remember what it's like, called 1945.com. I pulled it off um, the Bonjean Report. I can read it real quick. It basically says, we can only hope and pray that doesn't happen, talking about violence. But if it does, you can bet his party will use it as a justification for more authoritarian action. Whether it's the indictment of former President Donald Trump, for what? New censorship laws, the removal of the filibuster, or electoral system reforms designed to usher in an era of permanent Democrat rule. Violent response from even one single Republican voter will be the justification for even more extreme action from this illegitimate potato president. And that's exactly what that son of a bitch wants you to do. Don't do it. But unfortunately, it may happen because, well, look who's in charge of the government. This fucking potato just put out that everybody who doesn't agree with them, everybody with an R next to their name or even an I for an independent, is the enemy of the people, enemy of the state, enemy of democracy. Which, by the way, we're not a democracy or a constitutional republic or representative republic for that matter because democracy is fucking evil. Because 50 plus one people can determine what the other 49 people either go to jail or not. Or either feed their families or not. Or can travel freely or not. That's what this goddamn son of a bitch did. He called all of us out as the enemy. Don't take the bait. That's all I'm saying. I, I know I'm a broken record. I'm repeating this again. Do not take the bait. This is what that son of a bitch wants us to do. He wants to. Or, matter of fact, whoever's running the things behind the scenes. It's not him. The potato's not running things. They give him some... They, he probably sniffed a Congo line of children to get that much energy last night. They must have loaded him up with a methamphetamines or something. He was loaded and he was pissed off. And the, and the visual of the red background and the two marine... Uh, Guards behind him standing at, I think, parade rest or something. That is chilling. If you if you don't think it's chilling, that means you're a Democrat and you, and you support people coming after us and getting thrown in jail or even worse. You If you're a Democrat, as of right now, you support him and you want that and you love it. You want full 100% complete Democrat rule. I would say right now, he's an authoritarian. It's, let's, let's be honest. He's, he's Mussolini of our time. That's what, that's what happened last night. The imagery, the red background, the, you know, the fiery, angry speech, the, the fist pumping. The imagery of the angry Austrian painter in the 1920s and 30s. He was doing that, calling all his political opponents, the enemy of the state, enemy of the people, enemy of democracy. This is a dark fucking time. And if you don't realize it, then you're probably a Democrat or probably someone who doesn't give a shit. I always, I don't know who said this quote, but for the people who are not politically active, you may not be into politics, but politics will eventually be interested in you. And that's exactly what happened here last night and continuing on. That cock fucking sucker has just basically told 71 million Trump voters, or 74, that they're the enemy of the people, enemy of a democracy. But again, I can only say, don't take the bait. Don't take it because that is what they want you to do. Because if you do take the bait and you do lash out, well, guess what? You just give him ammunition. You give him the green light to attack all his political enemies. And believe you and me, that son of a bitch is the enemy of the pe the real enemy of the people, the real enemy of democracy, real enemy of a constitutional republic. That was the, by far, the worst, divisive, non-unifying non speech 
I've ever heard. And I've heard some fucked up speeches before, including, you know, historical speeches. They were bad. This, this was fucking bad. But don't take the bait. He wants you to do it. Don't do it. I can, I can only stress because if you take that bait, well, guess what? Your rights, <laughs> your enumerated rights, the negative liberties enshrined in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, they're gone. I don't want them to be gone. Just stay frosty out there, my friends, especially in Lost Land because... Whew. This is this is some dark fucking times.